This video may not be appropriate for children of 13 and under. Parental discretion is advised. Hi everyone, my name is Raziel Kane, and today, part 6 of the Jinbao Oversized Bruticus. Uh, these are the feet, the hands, and the gun. Uh, there's also the chest piece that we've seen with Onslaught, but you know, I'm gonna add this to these guys and, uh, you know, do the, uh, sorry about the noise, and do the whole uh, Bruticus thing. And I hope he's massive. I hope he's, I don't know, you know, my Devastator has the upgrade kit. That's what made him taller. Um, Bru Bruticus comes with pants already. So I'm hoping he's already at the same size as Devastator. Uh, kind of have a, uh, you know, built in uh, upgrade kit. So we'll see. And uh, yeah. Can't wait to show this to you guys. Before I do that, I just want to remind everyone to check out my voice acting playlist, the main feature of my channel, something I'm very proud of. And also check out my sponsor, DJC Collectibles, a fantastic online store. And at the end of this video, you can get your 10% discount code for anything Transformers. And now let's roll the intro. Okay, everyone, that's a different angle, and now you can see stuff that I don't uh, usually show uh, on this side. But I just, you know, uh, I needed room to be able to do this uh, this assembly. So what we're gonna do is, well, okay, you have the, you know, top part of onslaught. Uh, you have both feet and I did have to reverse the position of the feet because I had mixed them up the, you know uh, the arm uh, and he already has the gun handle uh, because the gun just kind of pegs inside it and it's super annoying really to do the uh, holding it in the hand and then so I just you know what never mind I'm going to uh, put the handle and show you the gun afterwards and then you have uh, vortex already up so I haven't uh, done anything to them since and this, this I still don't know where that's gonna go and for the life of me these things I still don't know where they're gonna go I did it doesn't say anywhere in the instructions to add these things so are they stabilizers I, it I don't know so maybe this is not gonna work and I'm gonna have to figure this out and come back and I don't know. We'll see. So let's, sorry, move it down a little bit because you don't need my face for this. So you have your feet. Some refer to us as Combaticons, but... And you have your Bruticus, top part, the pants. So you have those pegs here and okay there's you see that little white so that's a peg that's a push in peg and on in the back here on top you see a little hole so that's i'm hoping it means it's going to be stable enough that once it's clipped in i do have to push it to remove it so let's do this huh, i might have to can we oh uh, yeah okay so i'm that's why in all the pictures he's like that because if you you know it the, the legs are gonna rub up so I'm gonna do that first move this and then you unclip this a little bit to give them an angle so they're not gonna be as stable but they should be okay all right so Yep, I have to push in. I'm pulling on it pretty hard. Oh god, this is gonna be back heavy. Might have to super glue this thing. Alright, I'm trying to move the leg. Alright, there you go. So that he's a bit more forward. Uh, yeah, look at that. That's the thing with combiners. You know, they're solid until you put them together. Uh, 
All right, everything else seems pretty stable. But I mean, look at that cable. Uh, hold on. You know, that's huge. Now he's facing forward, you know, a little bit so that he doesn't fall backward. And the legs now, they kind of feel like they want to split like this. Oh. Ah, uh, see, that's the thing now. That, you know, that peg in the back we showed, now it wants to come unpegged. So, that's something I'll have to stabilize. And I don't even have the arms on it yet. Wow, that's gonna be a pain. Okay. <laughs> All right, so he's this hand. Okay, so on. Wow, I'm gonna need the carpet. Okay, so there's a peg here, and on the side here, there's two push pegs. They're the same color, so you don't see them, but there's two push pegs. So that's going to go this way. No. Nope. Huh. Oh, there's a flap. Okay, all right, my mistake. There's a flap, and that's... Ah, okay, all right. We're learning. See here, there's a flap. If you open up, and here are where it's going to peg. And of course, I did not know this, so they're super tight. Ah, well, they're not too tight. But they're, they are on a tight ratchet after you lift them. So you lift them. Oh, God, I just removed the, the wheel. All right, hold on. I'm gonna put that back in the ball. Okay. And then you, can you flap that? Oh yeah, okay. So you take that tab here, hold it inside, and then close it again. There you go. Ridiculous, devastate. Devastator! Now... Okay, you see here the... Uh, or you don't. Can I... Uh, anyway, there's a little hole right there. There you go. So the arm... I'm guessing there's a rotation. So, there you go, it clipped it, whoa. Ah. Yeah, that peg is not solid enough. Uh, the butt peg, not solid enough. All right. And now this rotates. Why do I do these things on camera? Okay, so I'm guessing that's gonna be the same deal. There you go. Huh, this one went in the whole way. Oh, that's the cannon, huh? Not too bad. Okay. Okay, it's in. Not moving. Oh man, I don't trust the balance of this guy too much. Okay, uh, we're gonna take the gun, put it here. This is never gonna hold as is. There's no place for this. I mean, no. 
that's gonna go in a bag. I hate doing that though. So anyway, that's he's unstable, I have to say. But I like it. It's gonna look great on the shelf. The gun is holding the figure forward. So what happens if I Wow. The gun, that's another thing, the gun is loose in his own peg. So he's always kind of pointing downward. So if I do this, but then after that, I ratchet him back so that the weight of the back works. Huh, it lives. No, 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 it doesn't live. So I know exactly how I'm gonna put him on the shelf because that's what I did with Devastator before the upgrade kit. So, all right. I still don't know what this does. I don't see how they would add to the stability. I'll have to look it up. And if I do find what they do, I'll do another quick shoot and put that back. So. Uh, you do have, man, I don't want to do this, but you have the articulation, you have a full merry go uh, Ferris wheel here. You do have the same thing here. It just, when I do it, it moves all around. Yeah, the head is on a left and right, and it goes up and down, but it's not a ball joint. So that works. Can I move it a little forward? Yeah. It's scary, really, these things are scary. I wonder if the stability of Hasbro combiners is better. Uh, you would have... Uh, if I hold this, do you have a... Yeah, you have your full... Waist rotation. What's hindering up the panel here? Come on. Yeah, full rotation, not bad. Let me just clean him up a little bit in front so that he has a proper display. There you go. And you do have an E-band. And you have your rocker at uh, the foot and uh, no, you know what I'm not gonna do the back and forth because that's gonna unclip the thing and everything's gonna fall down so how uh, all right let's man he's standing no hands mom you control giant sentinels if you destroyed robots defeated so if I don't shake the table um, Maybe I can get around to give you a... Uh, if I do a handheld, it's gonna suck. But yeah, that's Bruticus. I mean, it's not G1 Bruticus, but it, this looks pretty darn good. Yep, I'm happy with this. Alex, my oldest, thank you so much for providing me with this wonderful Father's Day gift, which I opened way earlier than Father's Day, and probably these review will be out way before uh, Father's Day. So, you know, maybe I'll, like I said, if I find something, I'll, you know, insert that. But uh, I, I, I don't know. So, uh, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this review. If you did, please like, subscribe, and hit the bell. Also, leave a comment. Love reading those. Keep coming back. I have more on the way. And remember, nothing in life gives you a right to be an asshole. Take care.